Got to stop and refuel. Got a little southern plate, a little chicken thigh, some dirty rice, and I got uh, some mashed potatoes with white gravy. Oh, yeah. About to go in. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is Old School Marvel Legends Red Skull. And you also have the Batmobile collection, along with Scarlet and Duke, G.I. Joe Classified Series. You girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you later. Peace. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Lips by Kimmy, Cooking KD, The Old School Marvel Legends, and... My fake Darth Maul from China. All right, so you know how we do on these videos. Let's get into some action figures or something. Actually, let's get into some magazines. So I used to collect wizards back in the days, but now I'm collecting, you know, these uh, magazines when I see them. In Publix, and this is uh, one of the magazines I collected. This is called Marvel Universe, um, your stories and movies and legends. And I really haven't had a chance to thumb through this, but this is pretty cool. A lot of my sex fans interrupt your video. So we're just going to go over my magazine collection because I have a main event for you. So that's the first magazine. Check out the second one. Now, when I saw the Star Wars Insider, I definitely had to get it because this is the first time that you see Groku in uh, comic book form or in art form. Uh, so they might end up um, introducing him into the comics. I doubt it because a lot of them don't have his timeline. You know, his timeline is after the fall of the Jedi, after Order 66. But uh, I had to get this magazine in my collection. And I think you could still get it at uh, Midtown Comics. But that magazine is hot. Because like I said, that's the first Groku or Baby Yoda. in oh, Amando in uh, like comic book form. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's my third magazine. My fourth, uh, no, that's my second magazine. My third magazine I wanted to show you... Uh, this is the time, uh, the story of Spider-Man character, the character that broke all rules. I thought that was pretty cool. Anytime I see a Time magazine with, um, you know, anything comic booky, I'm definitely picking it up. I missed one of the Star Wars magazines, but I'm not really beating myself up about it because these magazines are super expensive, especially when you go in the store to buy groceries and then you end up picking up like a 15 you know, $20 book. Um, but here's a Star Wars guide. I remember getting this around Christmas time from Walmart and every last one of them, excuse me, I'm just scratching, were dented on the spine. Uh, but I still had to get it. I couldn't just leave it. I had to get it. Because this is, a, this is the complete guide uh, to Star Wars. I love these magazines. So it's a special collector's edition. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, eventually in the future, you know, um, my kids or I could sell these magazines for, you know, a lot of money. So speaking of uh, Ultimate Guides or Hollywood Spotlight, I think that's what they're called. Look at this one. This is uh, the Ultimate Guide to Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, you know, I used to collect wizards. Never been a magazine collector. But since I'm not as much in the comic book shop anymore, you know, when I run across these, I'm like, hey, I got to get them. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here's uh, the last one before I show you your main event. You guys ready for it? All right, here it is. This is uh, Entertainment. I want to say Entertainment Tonight, but that is probably where it came from. The Ultimate Guide to Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. Uh, Tom Holland talks No Way Home. And my biggest sin is, hey, if you ask me, Fred Hall, Direct Edition, what are you reading right now? I really haven't really read any of them. So I feel highly ashamed. Um, but, you know, we'll get it together. So pretty cool. I got one more magazine before I show you your main event. You guys ready? Uh, let's do this. 
so I actually framed the Boba Fett uh, TV guide, which young kids have no idea what TV guide is. It's so funny. I don't even know why they come out with it anymore. But I framed it. I put it up in uh, the theater, part of the dungeon. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, you guys ready for your main event? All right, we got some cool magazines, but you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen these magazines, but you ready to see something new? All right, let's do this. Let's do your main event. And bam, here it is, your main event. I just picked this up yesterday. This is the ultimate guide to Batman. I haven't even flickered through it, um, but I thought it was pretty cool. You know, you got Christian Bale, Adam West, the dude from Twilight. You got... Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, you got uh, freaking, um, damn, what's his name? Heath Ledger's Joker, you got the new Penguin, you got Robin the Boy Wonder, wow, is that Zoe Zaldana? Zoe Zaldana, who is Lenny Kravitz and um, Aquaman's ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-wife. But this magazine is pretty cool, man. I definitely had to pick it up and show you guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through it a little bit. So I looked at the back and it's pretty cool. And the good thing about this, uh, a lot of my sex fans interrupt your video. The good thing about this magazine is I knew they just put it out because no spying ticks on it at all. It is not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. I could have sworn that, uh, what you call it, said that um, Christian Bale. But very cool, man. Look at this magazine, man. Wow, man. Just awesome. Complete guide to my first favorite hero before Wolverine. Oh, man. Look at that Michael Keaton. Ooh, Nicole Kidman. I give up a lung for that, girl. Jim Carrey's Riddler. Got the old school Michael Keaton Joker. Look at that. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. That is the Batman that was way back in the days. I think that was like 50s or whatnot. New Justice League. Okay, you got the Ray Shao Ghoul, Christian Bale. This is pretty cool. Wow, you got Michael Keaton. Why didn't you put Val Kilmer with the lips and uh, what you call it with the tits? Uh, George Clooney. Look at the Batmobiles. I think out of all of them, man, that Tumblr is... Whew, and right after the Tumblr, it's a 19, what, at 60, 76 Batman, Batmobile. Wow, this is cool. I know Val Kilmer got to be in here. Yeah, there he is. There he is, Adam West. R.I.P. to Adam West. The Joker. Wow, they actually put, um, what you call Joker in there? Um, River Phoenix, brother. Forget his name now. I'm getting ready. To, now I'm getting ready to be mad as hell. The rest of the video because I know his name. I just forgot it. Oh, this is when uh, Doctor. Forget his name. The Doctor dressed up as Batman and was going around doing some shady stuff. Look at Mister Freeze. This is nice. Joaquin Phoenix. There he is. Look at Waylon Jones. One of my favorite villains. Uh, Killer Croc. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, Batwoman. They actually threw her in there. Okay. This is nice. What do you guys think? I think this is pretty cool. Definitely the ultimate guy to Batman. So I definitely have to read it. Look at the Joker. Oh my God. Classic Joker. And this is a uh, very front when you open it up. Ultimate Guide to Batman. Affleck with the Superman Destroyer suit. With the, uh, um, what do you call it? Back signal. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Let's do this. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall, Direct Edition. Like, subscribe, share. Remember, words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love. You know, the ones that don't show you love, hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fred Hall, Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. I pray that all your channels be successful and you do everything that you need to do. Be safe out there. 
Peace.